Hello everyone, this is Panda. So this is an update on the new wagon that I just got today. So I just threw away the old wagon and I'm not gonna salvage any parts from the old wagon because the old wagon is just, it's a different type of wagon by the way. So what that tell everyone? Anyway, I just want to emphasize why this wagon is a little bit different. Now I didn't buy it exactly from TMZ, but I did buy it on Amazon for way cheaper. Now the reason why it was a little bit cheaper than normal is because it didn't come with this. So I took this one off, the old wagon, and I didn't take any bolts out any wheels from the old wagon because as you can see ah, this is the new wagon new wheels and the bolts are a bit different so earlier today I want I recorded when I was fixing it let's see here if I have the video so you guys can see it <clears throat> Wait, if I can find it oh there it is Let me explain why the bolts are way better and way different. So this is the new wagon's axle piston. Way better than the ones before. This is much thicker, much beefier compared to this, the old TNC wagon. Yeah, look at this. Night and day, bigger, better. are much much bigger and much more beefier and stronger so those bolts that normally was on the old wagon broke several times because they were too thin even though they were stronger even though I bought new ones we never got to test out the new I guess the exo bolts so with that said this is actually like a, a 3 eighths. so but I did take this apart and put uh, a bolt through the column like I did last time so this can last a little bit longer now keep in mind that people team these mat wagons are really not designed for what I'm trying to do so when someone today and the comments said try to make this one last listen friends I'm outside in the elements this is metal rust weather moisture will occur once you out here 24 hours 365 it will happen this will break eventually so just keep in mind that these wagons probably will last a year the way i am transporting over 160 pounds in the u.s pounds guys uh, kilograms it's basically the same weight as i am i'm about to uh, 50, 49, 51 kilograms of weight. So take it with the grain of salt. But I also put the Sunway Photo RGB uh, FL70 RGB light down here on the bottom for the traffic. And then I have the FL16 as my headlight over there. As you can see on top of the wagon. Sorry, I'm doing this out in the element, but I wanted to show you guys why the new wagon is also much better. Now, I want to let you guys know, have you noticed something about these two wheels in the back? They're not touching each other anymore. And this is why I didn't buy the original TMZ wagon. So I reached out to TMZ and let them know that your design about the back wheels are flawed. They get tangled, they get locked up on each other. These don't get locked up on each other, as you can see. it's there's room for the wheels to turn around individually without locking up on each other. And that was one of my problems with my old wagons from TMZ. The back wheels were a little bit closer to each other and they were lock up on each other when you're turning. And that can cause the joints to actually stress out as well when you're turning the wagon. And yeah, so this is why I'm trying to secure this wagon as much as possible. So it's much more spread out. And not only that, I can add this LED light for a night 
just in case like I'm in traffic or something like that. Ugh. But these are the same wheels as before. Rubber real wheels, ladies and gentlemen. See, I'm a, I'm a smart Amazon shopper. I'm also an Amazon affiliate. I will link this um, I will link this particular model down in the description below. This comes with real tires, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you want. You do not want plastic wheels on concrete ground. That is idiotic. Whoever designs wagons with, con with plastic wheels should be slapped in the fist because that is literally ripping you off on your value of your money. You spend a hundred, two hundred dollars on one of these wagons and you get plastic wheels? That's an insult to the consumer or the customer. So take everything what I'm doing and what I'm saying with the grain of salt. So with that said, and you can see like the housing for this is actually much, much thinner than the last ones before as well. If you notice, these are much more, not as wide as you can see. These are better. These are way better, by the way. Same wagon, same profile, but different housing for the wheels. This seems a little bit better, because we're real tires. The bolts are better. So, and then I got the FL16 as my headlight. So if I turn this on, this is my headlight at night. And some people thought when I had the original wagon, they thought, yo, dude, that's so sick. That's a cool ass idea to put, you know, the caution lights at night. This is New York City. I do this in New York City, Boston, and San Francisco. The reason why I do this is because people do not know how to drive or you have cyclists that literally run into you and they don't even have lights on themselves on, especially these delivery drivers here. They do not have a sense of comfort to make you feel safe. So I have to add these lights for safety. So this is the new wagon, but my original wagon was brown. This, this bag here was brown. This was brown, right? But I threw that away. Why did I throw the new basket away when because I want to be as stealth as possible. At night, I want to be full blacked out. So no one recognizes or can identify this wagon. Yes, you can identify it as TMZ, but how many TMZ wagons are out there right now? <laughs> but the point is, I didn't like the beige brown because that would get much, much dirty faster. And I like the black because it's just stealth, especially at night. It, yeah, it just makes things hard to look. I guess what I'm trying to apply here is that it's, it just makes it much harder for people to look. Thank you, Bob. Uh, yeah, the new wagon is actually kind of better in a lot of ways, as I was saying earlier, that this is more spread out and more flexible, and I can add this. And by the way, the wheels barely touch the LED lights, the RGB lights, so I got plenty of room. See? barely touch each other now the back wheels you see that separation and this is also better for the stabilization on the wagon because i noticed on the old wagon the wagon before used to tilt on the side because the wheels were just too i guess too narrow in these are more spread out to the ends so there's more balance oh she took the food okay yeah, someone just gave me some food and it had meat in it and I was like, no, I can't eat that shit. So I took them, I, I, uh, before I did this video, I literally sat the bag underneath that shopping cart and the woman that's collecting the cans, she took the food. So I'm pretty sure she's probably eating this shit right now. But I can't eat meat, so I appreciate the person that literally gave it to me, but uh, yeah, sorry my friends. If you met me on Jackson and 44th, I think it was. Yeah, back there. Yeah, I couldn't. I'm sorry, friend. I couldn't eat it because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a vegan pescatarian. Now, you guys are probably saying pescatarian. Like, no, I don't eat a lot of, I don't eat fish per se. But I do sometimes indulge in squid, octopus, you know, like stuff that most Americans think is weird. <laughs> but didn't what? The wooden wagons, uh, it's up and running now, I guess. 
Um, so yeah, what I did was take the old basket, put it inside this one. As I said, I want to be stealthed. I want to be camouflaged at night. I want to be all, I want to be like Batman, all blacked out at night. You cannot identify me. I'm a ghost. So that's still objective. But um, yeah, but uh, thank you everyone. Thank you for those that actually donated for the new wagon. Uh, that was unexpected that the wagon just suddenly just break. So let's hope that this one doesn't break from the back, which we know that's probably the weakest point in the wagon. As we went through three wagons so far, we noticed that the back is the weakest link. So let's see if this back on this wagon will last a little longer since the wheels are more spread out, it's more balanced. It's much sturdier, it's much stronger. Yeah, it's the same wagon, ladies and gentlemen. But I got it for 120 US dollars, plus the shipping came up to 143, 143. And then the price just dropped. I'm serious, guys. Go right now on Amazon. Look up the same wagon. I'm going to link it. I'm going to link it right after this video. And you're going to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. The, the wagon is now $100? Like, yeah, I got ripped off for... I pretty much got ripped off probably like about $30. So I wanted to let Amazon know, like, listen, I brought the wagon, then the, like two days later, the price went down. Like, I feel like I just got ripped off. <laughs> I literally just feel like I'm ripped, I, my, not just me, but my supporters literally contribute so I can get the new wagon. And I feel like you just not just ripped me off, but you ripped my, my fan base off as well because I told them a certain price and was this price and now it dropped so I'm kind of concerned about that so I will be contacting Amazon later on probably I don't want to do it right now probably later on uh, tomorrow because I also noticed two things about the wheel the front wheels they're a little stiffer like a little hard to push and maybe because it's nude I don't know but uh, yeah it looks pretty solid, Bob says. Yeah, it looks a little bit. It's the same wagon, but the back is different. It's just more, the wheels are more spread out to balance. Because the old TMZ wagons, and this is why, like I said earlier, I contacted TMZ, let them know that you need to change the back wheel design because that's probably the weakest link of the wagon. But I'm going to get going now. But um, yeah. I wish that was I wish that food was something different, but I can't roll right now everybody because mind you guys, I'm gonna show you something what happened to my cameras. I don't know. This is what's going on with my cameras right now. Stupid iPhones. Oh now this is working. What? Oh my panda for the last two days or a few days. I've been trying to get the telephoto lens to work. And now it's working. Oh my panda. It is not working. Now I gotta get the middle one to work correctly. I'm not sure what, what's going on. Like, literally. Alright. Is it because it's picking up high contrast stuff? Alright working everybody so far but it's this I this I guys this is the standard lens this is the standard lens I need this lens to make videos I can't make videos without this lens so I'm gonna have to do everything by camera yes I'm gonna have to record everything by the Canon cameras and then take those files and then color grade those and then upload those and then add those on my laptop when I can do everything on my fucking phone, this makes no sense. What the hell's going on with my iPhones? But uh, it's not cracked. It's not dropped. It could be just moisture, water damage. I don't know. But I need to get it fixed. But thank you, everybody. Yeah, it looks foggy. And then sometimes the lens would do that sometimes. Sometimes this lens would do it. I just don't know what what's the problem. Oh I'm just God. I'm just I'm just confused. But ladies and gentlemen, I got my new wagons. I'm able to roll, but I got a doctor's appointment back in Jamaica, Queens. I gotta go visit the doctor because I missed my doctor's appointment this past week when I was supposed to go, but I didn't go because we ran into a wagon issue. And I'm not transporting the rest of my clothes and my stuff 
yeah, I'm not transporting the stuff up there. I'm just too tired. So to, tonight, it's going to rain. So but four in the morning, what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to walk all the way from here to Jamaica, Queens. Yeah, I'm going to walk because uh, his, his two problems. One, the Jamaica Parson Center the elevator is not working. I checked and won't be available into Wednesday. So my appointment is tomorrow. So I have no choice to either take the train to a certain stop and then walk from there. But even though now, I don't want to take the train because last time we came to the hospital with all this stuff, I was hackled and harassed by these black guys at the Parson train station. I didn't record it, but I wanted to share this point of view. Parsons Jamaica Center is a little bit dangerous because I got to go to Jamaica, what is it, Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica uh, Medical Center. But anyway, Jamaica Parsons uh, train stop, it's a little bit dangerous. I don't like how people just touch your belongings now. Last time I was there, this guy would not stop. He was like, hey man, what you selling? What you selling? I'm selling. And I'm, I'm not selling anything. Just leave me the fuck alone. I told him, why don't you just now your own business? Just leave me alone, friend. I'm not selling anything. Do I look like a crackhead? Do I look like I'm selling anything? Did I come and approach you and ask you, do you want to buy this? I'm just saying, friend, just leave me alone. He's like, come on, man. I know we got some good shit there. He's touching it. I'm like, stop touching my property or we're going to have a problem. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? He says, I'm like, I'm going to do a lot of things to you right now. You want your day to go sour? Or let me just go about my business. And then he get his whole bunch of Jamaican friends over there. And listen, I got no races against the Rastas, man. But they are not real Rastas. Dude, those, those are American wannabes, friend. So what that tell everyone, I, I, I just don't I just don't want to deal with the Jamaican Parson Center. It's kinda of a little hectic. And recently there's been a shooting at that train station and then I'm this is what I literally am Listen, <laughs> I am not trying to fucking get into any drama with, with, with what I have right now. So yeah, I'm trying to heal and try to recover it. So, and that process is a long process, but what that tell everyone? I'm gonna get out of here. I don't wanna stay in this one spot anymore. I just feel like New Yorkers are just being dicks right now. Like, <laughs> I don't mean to be, sound so insensitive, but like, and then last like, I would say a couple hours, I've been stopped by ransom people and been asked the dumbest question. One of these questions was, sir, are you, I, you know what, I shouldn't even say it, but you know what, let's it's, it's talk about it. It said, are you homeless? Yes, I am. Why is it to you? What is the concern? Well, we offer, here's the thing. I told them that I am not religious. And they still try to push Christianity on it. And that's the thing about that I want to talk about. Folks, if I tell you that I am Buddhist and I chose to be Buddhist because it's not a religion. Keep that in mind. And we argued about this with this Christianity person. She's like, well, we offer housing for the homeless, Bible studies, Bible this, Bible that. I'm like, but ma'am, I am not a Christian. I am Buddhist. You should not. And this is what she said next. Why did you chose such a, such a stupid, I told her, it's not a religion. It's a choice. It's not a religion. You should do your homework next time. And then she was like, well, it sounds like you're in denial. I'm like, in denial about what? What actually, I asked her, what is really real and reality? God or you? You're here in front of me. That's proven. That's a proven statement. But I, in my opinion, don't believe in God. That's just a thing. Because if God was real, my friends, my ex-wife, my girlfriend, my child would be alive. <laughs> I, I shit you not. If there is such thing as magical people, I'm just saying, because you guys think God is magical, then why is he not making magic for anyone else here? And, and why do we have to torment ourselves with this suffering? And this is why I just don't believe in it. We are suffering because other people want to see us suffer. And I'm trying to show people that even though people want to see me suffer, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try my best to do the best I can to prove to that I'm stronger mentally. And sometimes I'm not mentally. Sometimes I'm weak. 
I miss my people that I loved, but I don't like when people come up to me and, and like, so you homeless, so we offer a Christianity church where you can get a free bed, you just gotta, yeah, basically it, it's like a, a program where you gotta stay in the facility for like as long as possible and join a Bible study group. No, I'm not doing that. Like, you guys are fucking nuts. <laughs> like, that's, God doesn't help put food on the table, ladies and gentlemen, literate. God gives you mental spirit allergy, yes. As I said, I don't believe in it, but for those that do believe in it, I can understand that God gives you strength. But it doesn't give me strength when I know for a fact, and I've been living it among you all for a long time. So I just don't like the idea that this woman walked up to me and, and like, and was like, and I was being very honest with her. I'm like, yeah, what's the deal? I'm, it's actually house, houseless, but I digress. People don't understand the difference between homelessness and houselessness. So, houses is when someone has a job or someone has income coming in, but they can't still afford a rent. You know how many people here in New York City can afford the rent? Let's go ask a bunch of people in Trader Joe's right now, asking them that same question. Can you, can you still afford your rent? No. Why is that? any delivery driver that delivers your food every single day where they live they tell you listen I live on my friend's couch I live sometimes I stay in a hostel guys the last time we were in a hostel the hostel the more hostel had a lot of delivery drivers staying there living there sleeping there right leg near my knee is buckling fucking about oh. but anyway guys I just can't believe like I get here and already this woman is trying to like convert me into Christianity I'm like that's rude you don't do that to people when someone tells you that i'm buddhist you don't want force that's pretty much forcing someone to listen to someone's antics when you literally clearly just told them no oh my panda this is a smoke shop now that's it i i'm fucking listen Guys, I am so happy that you guys have marijuana legally, but this used to be a fucking restaurant. It used to be a humanitarian restaurant. This place right here, and now it's a smoke shop. I remember coming to New York City, they used to have good food, and now they just have, sh I don't I don't know, listen, don't get me wrong. You guys think halak food is like the best and it's probably the most affordable food here in New York City. I'm not gonna lie, it's affordable, but it's not really actually authentic halak food. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's, come on. I know what halak food tastes like and it's much spicier than that shit we have here. Come on, that spicy sauce that they serve here in New York City, trash. You go to the halak guys, uh, place here in New York City. It's called the Halak Guys. You go to their place. You get their hot sauce. You're gonna be like, oh my panda, what is this? Is this death? Is this liquid? Is it? Is it that that that? What is that hot sauce? Uh, what is that hot sauce? The bomb. You ever had taste that stuff? The bomb. Don't buy that stuff. That stuff tastes like liquid acid. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just trying to emphasize, like, uh, who used to be so great in New York City? And now they took this place used to be remember we were here last year and used to be a humanitarian place now it's a smoke shop where's all the good food like all the good korean food what you can go to manhattan for 
but like all the good Japanese food, Korean, Chinese, all the good stuff. Did you have to go to Manhattan for? I mean, they should provide that stuff here in Queens. There's a few places here in Queens, but you have to travel to them. That's so sucky, though. <laughs> it does suck that you have to travel to go get good food in New York City now. So it's like New York City really, to me, doesn't have good good food anymore. This is why I go to Portland. I'm just saying this, just to emphasize why, like, if you want to save money, go to a halak stand, spend like eight, nine dollars on a freaking dish. Instead of spending like eight, nine dollars on a dish that's like, oh, this is a children's size plate. Because <laughs> New York is literate, um, I don't know, but <clears throat> I feel like New York, some restaurants are literally price gouging, giving you little bits of food for such expensive price but try to be safe bob says i am too late for that friend <laughs> try to be safe you see he's, i like that word try he said try to be safe bob has the right idea because there ain't no such thing as trying unless you try and when you do try you got some asshole that always want to fuck with your friends i don't understand it you're trying to nine your damn business and then here comes these monkeys <laughs> I don't care you're white, you're Asian, you're black You want to start trouble with me? Oh, you po you chose the wrong monkey <laughs> You want me to act out? I act out In self-defense You guys might say, oh, you used the word monkey You guys take a lot of things out of context here in the States I keep saying that Stop taking things out of context Don't take it out of context, please just take it with a grain of salt why I am saying these words because in Japan I use it and no one gets fretted about it not even black people in Japan go crazy over it only here in the States people are like oh you used the word monkey that's racist is it? I didn't know monkey in the dictionary said racist I thought it was an animal or a figure of speech but I don't know I got the wagon out now option since we now could be able to move around, where should we go? Harlem? Because I'm thinking about going to Harlem, lady, buddy. I'm getting sick of Queens. I'm getting sick of Brooklyn. I want to try something different this time. So, yeah, I had to pick up the... <coughs> I live in the bad part, too, so I only know a little. Okay, what part do you live in, Bob? this is not a bad part this is long island city see here's the thing last year long island city didn't have all this remember guys look at my old videos from last year none of this existed now you have a bike trail you have all these if you see my new york movie there was a fight right there before all these cars were parked the way they were there was a fight right there in front of this building. If you watch that video, the guy literally took the guy's phone. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that was that about. If you watch that three-hour movie, yeah, you see a lot of stuff in New York City that I recorded that I never showed. And I just feel like it's kind of like YouTube kept flagging my channel. And they just demonetized the video that I just uploaded. Oh my god, panda. Guys, so now you don't you can't download free music on YouTube anymore. You have to buy it. Yeah, now you have to buy music on YouTube. So, they gave me $15 off, right? But I thought they still had free music, right? So I downloaded the first track. I thought it was free to use. Turns out, nope, you gotta buy every single track. So now, ladies and gentlemen, there's no more, I don't see the listings of free YouTube videos. I mean, music content. But ladies and gentlemen, YouTube no longer supports free YouTube tunes audio so if you download your old music archives save them youtube doesn't provide free music anymore you have to buy music now if you want to make your video stand out you have to buy listen the licenses are ridiculous ladies and gentlemen yeah we're talking about fifteen dollars ten dollars like what ten fifteen dollars i can buy a whole album but it's the licenses that you're buying see yeah 
you want to sell the license for the uses of your videos for $15 for a lifetime. That's not bad. But the bad part was they never told us about the music until now. I don't live in New York. I live in Kentucky down here in the hood. I just know people are nasty for no reason. Yeah, same here in New York City. People are here, people are here in New York City are not from New York City. And in giving you a native, mind you, half of New Yorkers are not from New York. Why are you giving new, other New Yorkers or other travelers or other people that visit in dirty looks? Like if you're entitled or something. But anyway, I digress. Yeah. So I'm thinking about going to Harlem tonight. Because it's gonna rain, I don't sure I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in Harlem. But I figured that I need a change of pest. Yeah. They never stop for red lights, man. <laughs> they never stop for red lights. But anyway, friends, I just wanted to let you guys know that I did get the new wagon. With real tires, ladies and gentlemen, be smart and shop. Don't buy a wagon. Do not buy a wagon if it's selling plastic wheels. It's not gonna last very long. Oh. Sorry guys, my stomach. Oh. Oh, I need water. Anyone got anyone got any water funds? I need a, I need two bottles of water. I don't yeah, I need some fucking water now. I need to go get some water. I got like $2 left. I need water. I have to drink a lot of water and hyper electrolytes. Oof. But I'm glad that they actually put a bike path down this street here. so warm today it's 60 degrees outside today in new york and that's going to change overnight tonight it's going to rain after midnight so you guys are probably saying wait you're back in new york where you go where you do you go when it rains listen if i don't want to stay in a hostel and i want to save money for something like paying bills <laughs> Uh, I do my best to stay dry. I don't like hanging out in the subway. The subway is only for fucking people that just don't have a life. <laughs> Who wants to hang out in a fucking subway? That's why I don't understand the homeless here. You guys are hanging out in the subway on a sunny, hot summer day. What? <laughs> Be outside. In the winter, they hang out in the, in the subways. But then again, you have a lot of people that like to discriminate and look at the homeless as if they, it's not, the, well. <sighs> Listen folks, I'm 40, I'm gonna be 43 this year. And I worked my entire life. I saved up money. I literally had enough money to survive for two years, right? Due to the pandemic. And even that wasn't enough. So when people ask these questions about how did you end up homeless? Financially. They're like, oh, so it wasn't drugs. Like like that woman in San Francisco. We kept running into her. Oh, you are the ex-drug She called me the ex-drug user. I was like, ma'am, I already told you before. No one's never done, no one's ever done drugs. That's your assumption. That's the problem with you. You, you, you white people. <laughs> you always think black people always do drugs. <laughs> like today, the black dude was like, hey, you got a light? I was like, actually, I just found a lighter. You can keep that. He's like, oh, no, I just need to borrow it. I was like, whatever. He goes, and he pulls out the box of cigarettes and he goes, you want one? I said, no, I don't smoke cigarettes. He goes, what? He's like, bro, nah, you smoke cigarettes. You just don't, you just feel embarrassed. And I'm like, I don't smoke those garbage. I told him there's garbage. I'd rather smoke weed than cigarettes. <laughs> How dare you offer me a cigarette? You didn't offer me no weed. 
<laughs> I'd rather take weed than cigarettes. <laughs> he was like, I'm sorry, man. I didn't, I didn't mean it like that, man. Just, I never met a black guy that, that refused a cigarette. <laughs> I told him, well, welcome to New York where everyone's diversity and not everyone smokes cigarettes, friend. So apparently, I guess and it happened again. Apparently black people are supposed to be, what, what's this labeling about, ladies and gentlemen? Not all black people smoke cigarettes. Not, and you know what, that's, that's, not, that's not people's fault. You know what, that's the cigarette brand's marketing back in the 80s and 90s fall yeah 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 that's what that was i remember seeing those fucking newport ads all you see was black people in those newport ads if you're a smoker raise your hand you know what i'm talking about the marlboros had cowboys the what is it the parliament my mother smokes those oh my pen it was like a mixture of ad you had the asian or the white person but the newport ads nothing but black people <laughs> oh my panda well Bob people assume a lot of things like today I'm telling you today was just one of those days people just kept asking questions like how can you afford all of this why can, how can you walk around with those what do you mean why, how can I walk around isn't that heavy I'm a grown ass man like this is the problem with some people let me explain why I told this guy it's like what do you mean it's heavy you don't have muscles, you don't have strength. It's like, I wouldn't want to walk around all day with that. Like, no one's walking around all day with it. But the way that he said it was, how can you walk or walk all day with around all day with this? And I'm like, and that's, and, and right there, when I knew this person's lazy, he probably doesn't want to carry a lot of stuff either. So I'm not going to answer them. So I just, I just told him that like, I do what I can. Have a good day and walked away. He was like, what? He kept saying, asking questions. I kept walking away. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to ask you the question. It seems like you guys are here are lazy. It fucks. Not everybody. But listen, friends, like you wake up at six in the morning, you start your day, right? Are you, am, am I going to ask you this question? Like, why you wake up at six o'clock in the morning? No. <laughs> then why would you ask me why I'm carrying all this stuff around? It's not, it's not heavy like it used to be, but I'm emphasizing why it's, today was one of those weird, awkward days. I get, I was literally setting up the wagon. People kept asking me a question. Hey man, like how much does one of those wagons cost, man? Like a lot of money, friend. <laughs> not cheap. But then again, I don't, I don't trust homeless people anyway in New York City because they ask you one question and then next you know they want to try to rob you. <laughs> but anyway, I need some water. I need to get some water from this place. <coughs> but with that tell everyone, welcome to Long Island City, by the way. <sighs> That's changed from last year, though. It's bizarre. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, you guys just have... I, I didn't even realize today was a fucking holiday. Someone was like, it's a holiday. And I'm like, why is the banks closed? It's a holiday. What holiday? Every day is a holiday for you guys. <laughs> what fucking holiday is it now? And apparently, it's, it's George Washington's birthday. And I'm like, fuck that dude. He's a slave owner. Fuck that dude. <laughs> he literally fucking... He, oh, my panda. Don't let me start talking black... Black... <laughs> Black justice on this channel. Like, you guys are still celebrating slave slavery by celebrating that dude's birthday. Are you kidding me, man? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh, this guy's double park. Oh, what, what, no? He's honking at the other guy driving at a red light. I don't understand that. Why are you honking at someone at a red light? But anyway, friends. People just don't understand unless they walk in your shoes. Bob, people can, listen, people can walk in our shoes every day. You know what? They choose not to. And that is called understanding. See? Humans, 
believe that they are the smartest fucking species on this planet but we are not actually i think the smartest species or mammal on this planet is the whale or or the dolphin so give or take <laughs> but here, here's what i'm saying people do understand but they refuse to accept it like oh no you can do better how look at me look at me I'm a, I'm a powerful, smart black man and people refuse to give me any more I got open doors right now. And I'm not saying this on a, on a, on a racist point. I'm just saying this as like, America is still racist. <laughs> I'm saying this because America is still racist. I could go to fucking any country, I would see less racism than in any other fucking country. I swear to you, if I go back to Japan right now, I would see less of the racism and more of a welcome. Oh, welcome back, Panda. It's been a while. When's the last time you've been in Osaka? Oh, shit. It's been like three, four years now. Kind of close to that. It's like, yeah. But here, you can feel the tension. You can feel... Yeah, you can definitely feel the tension here. Something about the... the ooh, what the hell was that? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Control your dog. Yeah, that also happened yesterday. Someone was literally in a, in a park uh, exercising and some someone let the dog off the chain and the dog chased the, chased the guy down. Yeah, it, I, I was almost afraid that the guy was going to get bitten. Yeah, it was just, yeah. People, please, take your, keep your dogs on a leash. Because if you don't train your dog, then you shouldn't have your dog off a leash. Seriously. If your dog is not trained, please put your dog on a leash. Common sense, because that's what happened yesterday in the park. The guy almost got attacked by a dog. I should have recorded that, but you know what? You know, there's always cameras in the parks. Now there's cameras in the park. But anyway, I'm gonna get going, guys. You guys take care. Of it. I, I, need, I need to get some water. Ooh, how much is water here? I hope it's not expensive, though. I need water. See ya.